I'm at Katong Square today, and guess where I am? Haha, <laughs> I'm at Shin Minori, and it's one of my favorite Japanese ala carte buffet restaurants. I'm super excited. They actually added 60 more items to their entire menu, and it's really 200 items, really. So, I'm going to be reviewing some of their new stuff, and let's see how exciting this is going to be. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And in front of me, I'm completely flooded with food and I think this is a table for six. And why we're here is because I actually want to go and check out this new robot thing. The robot actually sends you food all the way down to your table and it's all in tears. If you guys want to eat and drink at the same time with your buffet, they actually have this thing called Ganpei Buffet. Free flow sake, free flow beer, they have some wines and basically drink till you drop. I'm going to dig into these new sexy items. This is actually their baby squid in butter grill. They didn't do it too Chewy, super tender. The other grilled items that they have is the scallops. One is the teriyaki grilled scallop. This one actually has black pepper on it. The next scallop item is actually the butter scallop. They're so soft, they're like fish balls. Kind of cute, bouncy, bouncy kind of. Next up is actually their prawns. And this is prawns wrapped in bacon. Do you even need to add salt or any sauce on this? This is salty enough with the bacon. And the prawns are not like flaccid soft kind of thing. Wow. Since I'm at Shin Minori, it's an a la carte Japanese buffet restaurant. Of course you have to order sashimi. They actually have like their seven types of the sashimi and usually they cut their sashimi really thick. So if you like that full fish mouthfeel when you eat your sashimi, this place is the place to go to. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go for their soups. This soup comes in a teapot and this is actually their seafood soup. So there's a cup that comes with the teapot. Oh, I'm giving it a stir and I see a lot of things inside. There's actually prawns, some mushrooms, crab meat and even have that Japanese fish cake size. Oh my god, this is better than your standard miso soup. It's actually full of that seafood flavour. They have one soup and it's actually their vegetarian shark's fin soup and it comes with crab meat as well. They actually give you vinegar and some pepper that you can put into it as well. Wow, they have actually big chunks of crab meat inside. On top of all these soups, they actually have this ramen, like smoked duck meat on it. I don't know if you like, you have to get the char siu as well. I ordered the spicy one. The spice is actually more of a chili powder kind of spice. If you don't like char siu inside your ramen, they actually have an a la carte option. It's actually one super interesting dish. It's actually frothed egg white with sakura on a chawamushi. It's a bit more on the sweet side and has that chawamushi at the bottom. There are two items that I've never seen at Japanese restaurants. It's actually their grilled beef steak. And it comes with this sauce. It's actually a sweet black pepper sauce. On top, they actually have spring onions and that fried garlic. The beef itself, it has a really interesting crusted layer. And then inside is that beef, which is so tender still. And it complements the black pepper sauce so well. They actually have an option for hot pots. It's two types of soup. They actually cook huge chunks of fish, there's yellow tail, there's salmon head, there's even those vegetarian ones where it's only just the vegetables with some mushrooms. So they actually give you a whole selection of different types of sushi. They have your deep fried sushi as well, it comes with some floss and it's spicy mayo. The deep fried makis are so big, I can't even fit it into my mouth. So they have a bunch of deep fried stuff. It's actually an unagi tempura. It looks like your oyster pancake, super crunchy. It's actually unagi on some vegetable tempura. And also they have their white bait comes with spicy or wasabi mayo. Oh my god, white bait is always so awesome as tempura. It is so crunchy. Alright, so for people who enjoy soft egg, there's two dishes here. It's their Japanese sliced beef and stewed beef together with some of the glass noodles and it has this egg yolk in the middle. The second really soft onsen egg dish is actually their three types of mushrooms with this onsen egg. Wow, with that fried garlic. They also have that dumpling skin with mentaiko mayo. If you love mentaiko, Taiko sauce, if you really want to try this. This is such a good vessel just for the sauce. Another mentaiko dish they have is a deep fried mago yaki with the mentaiko sauce in it. I love egg so much, so it's like sweet inside and then that mentaiko saltiness outside. And two notable mentions is actually grilled lamb chop. Oh super lemmy. And also they have beef tongue. Beef tongue is supposedly super tender. If you're not full by the end of this buffet, they actually give you a trio of noodles. It comes with a sauce and they actually have some of the grated yam for you. It's advisable that you put in the yam only right before you want to eat it. So usually after your meal, you will go for the fruit platter. And this fruit platter is so insane. They actually have mochi for the dessert as well. I'm so glad to be able to show you and be able to taste all these new items that's on this super extensive menu at Shin Minori. Well, they have two outlets, one at UE Square 
can. I'm currently at the one at Katong Square. And the one at Katong Square has a cute robot. So if you want to come down and take a look at that robot, just come and see. Apparently it cries as well, so maybe you'll find out why. <laughs> it was so fun showing you all these, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! <laughs>